Welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs of NHL 22. This next matchup is about to do things again. Predators and Wild, as Predators are now in the lead 2-1 over the Wilds. The Wilds haven't just really gotten a chance to try to win the games here at Nashville. Some of them just got better, but most of the games was too much to handle. A hard routine in between the draw. It's nothing but everybody else's uh, key. Most times, the businesses could definitely be the only ones that can definitely try it again to do it even more better than the last time. So, it's about to get things right down the board for another Western Conference matchups. As we're about to see here, let's take you down to Bridgestone Arena for the fourth game. This is going to be a great matchup in here. Let's take you over to James Zabalski and the crew all right, on, on the ice arena. All right, guys. You guys now take the next game on for the next one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Give it all you got there, gentlemen. Good luck. Welcome back to EA Sports NHL coverage of the Central Division. Hi, everybody. I'm James Zabalski along with Ray Ferraro. This should be a fun one tonight. Still have some more time here, as it's still dead in the books. The frozen miss gets dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick pass to Kunin. Gains the zone through center. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Minnesota's on the attack. Here he is, wrists it on net. Great save from in tight. The Predators get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. The Wild have possession along the boards. Fialo's taking it from his own end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Fantastic save! And still using a stick to poke the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Favreau. Nashville's got the puck in the defensive end. Tomasino's got it into offensive territory. And he easily stops that one. Picked up along the boards by Forsberg. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They go on the attack through center. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Polino. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Glove save. Saros gets on top of the puck. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed too. Now you can get a drink of water and reset. Nashville's got possession here in their own end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Predators will play for the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. Makes the save. 
Picking up some steam at center ice. Here's a chance. Turned aside with a glove by Saros. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Nashville's got it in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Cuts into the paint. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Hammers one at the net. Denies him. He got all of it. Kakanen's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Nashville's won the faceoff. Massive collision in the open ice. Hitting up along the boards. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Feeds the puck across to Dumba. Looking to set up offensively. Puck picked up by Hartman. Oh, what a golden opportunity missed there. This is why you have to be prepared for your chance. You don't know when it's going to come up. You get it, and you miss the net by that much. Here he is in close. Kakin is opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. The Predators carried along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Kakanen's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. The Predators win it. Scooped up along the wall by Echo. Here he is in the open ice. On the breakaway! Stopped by the puck stopper! Yeah, beaten is the term, James. A goaltender beats the shooter on that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The Predators win it in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Johansson. Flips it up the net and makes the save. Slides the puck ahead to Zuccarello. Moves it to the offensive zone. Zuccarello got it against the boards. Moves right to the middle. A chance. No, oh, puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. Receives the pass. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Takes a shot and makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Koonin. Drives to the crease. Stones him in front. Finds some space in the corner. Koonin's got it along the boards. This offensive zone pressure is unreal. I love this shift. Puck grab by Kukrizov. Here he is shot right in front. And he denied that opportunity. Nice pass. Here's a shot. Kicked away with a pad by Kakanen. Cutting to the slot, and not much on that one. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Still looking for our first goal. Play results as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Puck battle along the boards. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. With the stop. Into the corner. Minnesota's got the puck against the wall. And that shot dies in traffic. The Predators gain control of the puck. Across the line from center. Slides the puck over. Gives up nothing in front. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Right in front with the shot. Denies him. Sometimes you make 
make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender, I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right now. You just got to get the puck on the tape. Picked up along the wall by Dumba. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Kaprizov. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick feed to Duchesne. Sissons picking up steam. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Dismiss that chance. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. His reflexes on display tonight. Great defensive effort with the stick. Let's it go! Oh, comes up with a stop. Nashville's game possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Sissons. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. The Predators have it from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. Green hits up play with a stick by Kaprizov. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Great reach with the puck check by Johansson. Handles the puck. Directs it on over to Fabro. Skates to the crease. Felino's gaining momentum. And it's a quick pass to Spurgeon. Takes a shot. Good eyes him on the play. The Predators have it against the wall. Fabro's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Quick pass to Johansson. Throws it on goal. Gets in front of it. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Two minute penalty. Daryl Erickson. Two minutes for, for interference. Too much, and he gets called for slashing. Slashing. Sorry about that. playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys... Joel Erickson! Two minutes for slashing and then for the Minnesota Wilds. It is now power play for Predators! The Predators take it across the line. Who's the puck? Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Kakanen! Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Granlund's won the draw. Back at the point, he set it up. Maintains possession. Here's a shot. Scores! You think that there's a good set for the score of the power play? You find out the hurry. It doesn't really matter where the puck moves. As long as it moves quickly, you're going to have a chance. Nashville's taking the lead here in the late going to this first period. Pretty even first period. Now they've gotten the jump. You want to get into the intermission ahead. Predators goal! His first goal of the season in a power play, number 95, Matt Dugney! His first assist here by number 57, Kyle Bowen. And by number 64, Garland. Two minute goal, 18 24 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So many bodies in the way. The Wild have the puck against the boards. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Nashville's looking to break out of the road end. And now it's over to Forsberg. The Predators take it along the wing. Cuts to the front. Lots of work and nothing for it is they don't get the puck on goal. 
do with that. The first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance at a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. What a great power play goal for the Predators to start things off in the first period. The next period will be coming up after the break. Second period starting now. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropping. We are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Really like the way both goaltenders have attacked the game. They haven't been passive. They've been out on top of the crease. Just one goal despite many chances in that first period. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Pushes it across to Spurgeon. Return pass. Let's some open space at center. To the low slot. Just slide. You can go games without a chance from here. Feeds it on over to Forsberg. The Predators are on the attack. Now a quick pass to Favreau. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Nashville's up one zip. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck. A chance! And that one's turned away. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Puts it on net. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Moves the puck behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Nashville sliding the puck behind the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Kacken it's on top of the puck and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Nashville's got it in the offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Manages to hang on. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Golagoski stick handling in his own zone. Takes a shot. That's blocked by Saros. As he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Minnesota's won the draw. Takes the feed. A chance! Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. Minnesota's really grinding on this game. They want to get this game back to even. But that shot off the post will help them. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Balance there on the boards. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Answer the call there. Saros gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Lots of time left in this period. Nashville's ahead, 1-0. Hartman's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Bennings carrying it ahead. Takes a shot. Going with a stop. Kakanen's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed to cover now. Still lots of time left right now. Didn't make the midway point yet. The Predators win the draw. Coming to the front of the net. Scott! Just going back to back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Nashville's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead. As opposed to Predators goal! Here's first goal of the season, score by number five, Matt Jennings! And by assisted by number 32, Hush Johansson! Time to go, 5.33 remaining in a second period of a Stanley Cup playoffs. 
moves it to Zuccarello. Hammers a shot. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Saros has shown tremendous focus. He's got a great save percentage in this contest. And at the other end, his forwards are helping him out. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Offside call here on Minnesota. Still lots of time left in the period. Nashville's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Nashville's got it across the line. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. And that pass is redirected. He scores! That's three rings. Hammer's goal! His first goal of the season, score by number 43, Zed Gorland. Time for the goal, 14-33 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Puck is 
dropped and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Cheneau. The Predators move the puck in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Turns it aside with the glove. Kakin, it's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Nashville's won the draw, they'll go to work. Well, that'll get a response. Well, this was going to happen again, and there you have it. I'm number one coming in for the fight along. Five minute penalty here for fighting from Minnesota. And Paul Assistance from Nashville. And Minnesota, Ryan Hartman. Five minutes for fighting contact. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the face off. Play resumes here as he wins the draw. Five minutes for, for, for fighting here between the uh, Minnesota and Nashville Predators. Here are the Golden Sessions. And Michael Gorman. Five minutes in for the penalty and fighting. to get some treatment. Slides the puck across to Forsberg. Craig Reed with the stick. Quick pass to Eric Zanek. The Predators pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Rister, stopped by the goaltender. Denies him again. Unstoppable. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Minnesota's in now. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Duchesne. The Predators play along the boards. Moves inside. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Nice zone entry from the middle. A chance from the slot. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Saros has been working on controlling the puck after he stops him. Here he does a nice job. Into the corner now. And that puck leaves the zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. Passes the puck over to Eric Zanek. Dumps it into the ozone. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweater away. Stops him again. I love the way that he's in position and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Here's Turner one more time. Look at that. He's pretty rattled here. Looks like he took a pretty big hit. And this is what happens already. Boom. Bell's unconsciousness. Looking for himself to recover. Spurgeon's got to take on a lot here as the captain of this team. and They're not playing very well. They're chasing the game. and 
He's got to be the one to grab everybody by the collar and say it's time to get back to work here. Turn that chance aside. And there's another stop. He's saving him again. There's a couple back-to-back -back saves. One more period to go. Approaching quickly here. Nashville's on the attack. There's a shot, and there's a save. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Fiala's going to play it against the half wall. That's blocked. Grabs a buck in the corner. And now he tries to get it across to Golubowski. Oh, what a close save! Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Nashville's got possession here in their own end. Receives the pass. And there's the horn bringing it into period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. 3-0. No score for the Minnesota yet. What, what will Minnesota do if they will try to work their way up? Well, find out later when we come back after the break. Third period is next. Are you ready? It's time again to hit the third period. Minnesota's frustration is pretty evident. They've had all kinds of chances, but that goalie down there has been amazing. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Predators have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. He grabs the puck here on the point. Stopped by the goaltender. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Here they come on the attack. Takes a shot. Big time stop there. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Kaprizov. Shot. Makes the puck stop. Saros is going to hang on for the whistle. It's been a really good night for him. And this is another example of it. Sharply covers the puck. He's had a busy night, but he's been excellent. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Minnesota's won the face off. And that one stopped. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Moves it quickly over to Duchesne. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Great poke check on the reach. Slides the puck across. Passes it over to Forsberg. Here he is from the slot. Well saved made by Kakanen. Great tracking, he finds the puck, he gets the glove up, makes the save on a dangerous chance. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. The Predators gain possession. Steps across the blue line. Nice pass. Saros knows his job's not done with the first save. That puck's got to be covered, or in this case, deflected to the corner. Kunin's picking up steam. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Takes a shot. Oh, another consecutive stop. From Sunday, they get into the attacking area. Slides the puck over. Nashville's got possession of the puck. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Comes up with a glove save. Makes a move in front. Puck sent over to Goudreau. Takes the feed. Spurgeon's got the puck. Uses the force on that hit. Hitting up along the boards. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Wrist shot from the slot. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. 
Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Lots of time left in this period, and the ice has been tilted to this point. 3 nothing is where we sit right now. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Hooked away by Granla. Gains the zone through center. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Denied by the goaltender. Slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Nashville's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Duchesne. And they can't convert on the play. Minnesota's got it against the boards. The Predators have it now. Tries to get it over to Forsberg. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Forsberg's got it deep in the offensive end. Picked up by Brodeen. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And the puck leaves the zone. And now it's grabbed by Forsberg. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Granlin. Puck picked up by Kaprizov. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Misses a golden opportunity there. This is one of those nights. It's not going your way, but the puck keeps coming back to you in a scoring position. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Takes the cross-ice pass. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoyed this night. The other, not so much. Big time blocker stopped by Saros. But he came out and challenged a good save. Nashville's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Sissons. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Nashville's got the puck here at the open ice. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick pass to Eckholm. Passes over to Sissons. Locks it into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Nashville's looking to break out of their own end. The Predators slide it through center. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, he got paddled by Kakanen. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to me. The Predators get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through center. Here's a short pass to Cheneau. Moves it around along the half wall. Great save by Kakanen. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Past the halfway mark of this period, 3-0 is the score. The Predators win the faceoff. Oh, complete explosion on that physical hit. Here's a chance behind the net. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Eric Zanek. The Predators have really played their systems well tonight. They've layered defensively, not given their opponents many chances at all. Eckholm's got it in the defensive end. Nashville's across the blue line. Quick pass to Greenway. Now he takes it over the line. Quick shot. Grabs him with the glove. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Johansson's won it in their own end. And now it's over to Kunin. They go on the attack through center. Kunin's got it against the boards. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into it. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Scores! Eventually the puck finally goes in the net. They've been working at this all night. Finally, in the late stages, they get one. The Wild have one back 
Minnesota goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 17, Mike Bellagno. His first assist here by number 83, Paul Anker Duderon. Time of the goal, 14, 45 seconds in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Minnesota goal gets his first goal of the season, scored by number 27, Kirkiel Carbrizov. His first assist here by number 36, Scott Kinguin, and by number 24, John Dumba. Time of the goal, 6.45 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Minnesota goal, his second goal of the season, scored by number 97, Kirkville Coppers call. His first assist here by number 36, Matt Zuccarello, and by number 24, Alan Dumbo. Time of the goal, 14 43 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs.
Nashville's won the face-off deep in their own end. Quick feed to Yossi. Sends the pass over. Nashville's in transition. This one's still up for grabs as we approach the final minute. One more period to go. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. Across the line and on the attack. Stoppage and play offside the call. Offside, Minnesota. Minnesota's won it. Takes the feed from the left side. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Across the line from center. Shot in front, turns it away. Tries to get the puck over to Spurgeon. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. And that's blocked. Pass to Johansson. The Predators have it now. And he slides it quickly to Coonan. Quick shot. Denies him. He got all of it. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Gautreaux's won the face-off. Moves it over to Fiala. Skates to the crease. Here's a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. There's the buzzer. 60 minutes of play has sold absolutely nothing. So let's go to overtime. And we'll do that next here on EA Sports. We got a lot of coverage. Oh, man, the battle's in between right now. Minnesota and Nashville. This next one could be the overtime winner in between those two. We see Minnesota winning the second game. First game was a surprising, shockful moment of Nashville. And for the last game, it was Nashville too. But now, this all comes down to overtime. If not, then shootout. Overtime, moments away. And here we go, we're about to start now. Puck has dropped and OT has begun. Graylin's got him in the offensive zone. Snaps it on net, and he comes up big with a stick save, getting all of it with a towel. Eckholm's got it in the offensive end. Handles the puck. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes it to the front for the win! And he denied that opportunity. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Big save! Big save by the goaltender once again. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Stop by the goaltender. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kakanen. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Johansson's won the draw. Tremendous stop by Kakanen. Trying to shake loose. Misses the net. The Wild have taken control of the puck. Fiala swooping in on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Clad save. He's on it tonight. Nashville's got the puck in the defensive end. The Wild have gained possession. Moves the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Off a stick. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. His reflexes on display tonight. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a short pass to Hartman. From the right side, they gain the zone. A chance! Stopped by the goaltender. 
Drew Center along the wing. Taken by Kaprizov. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Couldn't complete the pass. Puck goes out of play. We got a face out coming up. A critical draw here. There's still much of time. There may not be enough to get there. This one's still up for grabs in the final minute. One more minute to go. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Centering pass. Get on a stick. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. Here's a shot. Turned aside. 36 seconds to the buzzer. He took a pretty good jolt there, James, and I think we should take another look. He seems a little shaken up. Uh, who's he got a little He's bumped up? Aided by one of the training staff. Yeah, looks like who's he trying to has got smashed up. He looks like a replacement could be up. Head injury. We'll see if we can try to get an update as soon as possible here as this game goes on. Tonight. This is a great finish. Minnesota goal. It's first goal of the season scored by number 22, Kevin Fiala. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Zabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone, tonight. Wow. An upset moment here has picked it up. Nashville wins game three. And now the Wilds win game four in overtime. Here are your three star players of the game. Number three we have is Kirill Kaprizov, two goals and four assists. A good skill and commitment is just going right in the paint, near the crescent. Number two we have is Husa Saros, a terrific 59 saves, just like he did here before. And for number one, that was Kahonen, that has 54 saves, only two goalies, and the top three star players in the game. So, make sure to tune in for the next game, as you will have the, the Hurricanes and the Bruins playing here back at TD Garden Arena. And then, for the next Western Conference matchup, Stars and Avalanche here at American Airlines Center. Then we will have the Rangers and Penguins here at the PPG Paints Arena before we head over right down into game number five for another takeoff Wando. And of course the Lightnings and their Maple Leafs here at Amali Arena. And then one of the game can be a very tough one to get right in by of Oilers and Kings at Rogers Place. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time for our Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL 22 Dial. Good night, everybody. Did you know? Somebody.